Good morning, everybody. This is my video blog, and what a better way to start than with Mr. Cow. Mr. Cow, where are you going? Oh, hold up, hold up, everybody. This is a celebrity. This is Mr. Cow. This is, this is the, the neighborhood cat. He has a collar. I have no idea whose cat he is, but he's an absolute cutie. And I see him every other morning. Say good morning. Mr. Cow. Anyways, I'm gonna start walking to the bus stop. Look at him, look at him, he wanna come with me. He wanna make a difference, he wanna make a difference in life. All right, we're walking to my bus, and now we gotta take the train afterwards. It is currently 7.15, I gotta make it there by 8.30. Um, pretty sure I'll be on time, but who knows? The MTA is a mystery. Just got to the school. It is exactly 8.30. This is my team. These are the interns at the International High School. Everybody introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Denise. Hi, I'm Arabi. My faves. Okay, this is the office. It's a regular classroom. I think this is super cute. We have like all the flags ever. And then more stuff. This is, yeah, this is our locker where we put all our stuff. This is like, my supervisor's locker. This is a bunch of clothes that we have. Shoes too, for new students. And in here is a closet way, way, way too full of a bunch of coats, which I think is great it's for new students. Um, wait, over here, we have um, pretty much anything that a student could need. We have paper towels, we have utensils, um, we have pads, tampons, more pads, more tampons, more pads, more tampons, you know? Casual, very necessary stuff. And then over here is where we usually meet our students. Um, it's a pretty small space, but I find that it's pretty useful. This is currently broken right now, but we extend this and make like a little mini wall here. And yeah, that's pretty much where we operate. I think this is also really cute. Sorry, it's so loud, but what can the social work team do for you? And it has a bunch of, you know, little counseling, you know, dental, healthcare, immigration law, after school programs, clothing and hygiene items. We all, we have a lot of this stuff in there. Um, and me and the interns actually started a game club that we're gonna host today after school from 3 to 3.45 because the kids get out early today. And they also have this bulletin board that I think is really cute. We all have our Polaroids up here. And this is the whole team. Um, Daphne isn't here today because she's sick, but she's usually here on Tuesdays. This is Robert, this is my supervisor, and this is my other supervisor. This is Denise, Layla, Atsidi, and Cecilia. And yeah, this is our team. Um, I'm not sure if they're gonna replace somebody there, but yeah, this is it. So right now, I'm at McDonald's. I'm getting some... I'm getting some students some food because there are a couple of them that don't like to go downstairs. Um, the lunchroom has been pretty packed this semester and the lunch, you know, some of them just don't like it. So I'm getting them food. I'm gonna eat with them. Maybe play some Jenga. Not sure yet, but it's usually calm. It's usually a chill vibe. So yeah. So lunch went great. Um, I met some of my students' other friends. Um, we had lunch together, it was really nice. Um, and yeah, if I didn't mention that already, I do that because they struggle with attendance. So I do it as like an incentive. Um, whenever they go a week straight coming to class on time and you know, attending first period, I buy them McDonald's. Um, if they don't do it, I still buy it for them, but they have to pay instead. So they get free McDonald's if they come on time. Um, but yeah, right now I'm waiting for my supervisor because we're having a meeting, but he's currently talking to like four students right now at the same time. Um, so yeah, right now I'm just waiting. So it's the end of my day right now. Um, I should go, but I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the artwork that's around the school. Um, I don't want to show any names and I didn't uh, record while all the students were here just to avoid um, any of that kind of stuff, but um, 
Yeah, no, the school, honestly, I find it really beautiful. I'm gonna go downstairs to the eighth floor. We're on the eighth and ninth floor because there's, I don't know, maybe like a dozen schools in here, but the whole school has so much incredible art um, made by a lot of the students, made by some of the staff members, and I think it's beautiful. Shout out to all the flags. Shout out to that one specifically. <laughs> More flags, more flags, more flags, all the flags. We have so many flags here. Representation. And like any regular school, they have a bunch of work over there with all the bulletin boards. Um, and you know, I won't show it more closely because confidentiality, but they have these amazing, beautiful murals. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And this wall, I'm gonna try to go a little fast, so no names are shown, but all of this is some of the students' artworks. Um, I personally know some of the students and I know they're really good artists, so I was really happy to see them on there. Um, but yeah, um, there's, there's a lot of pride in what the kids do in this school. And I think even like the little things, like I think this is one of my favorite things, things too. Um, I think it's very representative of all the ties that people have to different um, cultures, different friend groups, different everything that they have in their school. And I think it's beautiful. I think it's really great. And I'm outside and it's dark. Um, today went really well. I met with a lot of students. By a lot, I mean like four. I called some parents. I called one of my students' as, um, therapist. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot happened. Sometimes it's really hard for me to process um, just because that was adorable. Um, but yeah, sometimes it's a lot to process. Sometimes I don't know whether to consider if a day went good or bad, but you know what? I feel like I have to start learning that every day is good as long as I, you know, as long as I talk to some people, as long as I talk to one person, make their day a little easier, make sure that they know they're supported then I feel like my job is done. Well, not done, it's never done. Social work's never done, but you know what I mean. I also had a meeting with my supervisor today um, at the end of the day, and it was really interesting because, you know, we have this once a week. Um, sometimes if we're really busy, we have it at, you know, every two weeks, but, you know, we had to sit down and we talked about you know, like where I want to be in the future, maybe if I want to stay in a school setting and if I don't. And, you know, I always appreciate those talks because my supervisor is very blunt and honest with me about the social work profession and, you know, the struggles that come with it. Um, but one thing that I got to reflect on that I feel like I'm really proud of myself for is that my Spanish has gotten a lot better since I started. Um, as you all know, I am a native speaker, I'm Dominican, proudly, and I speak Spanish pretty well, and I understand it perfectly. But, um, you know, I feel like there is a certain level of complexity in the vocabulary you gotta use in social work that, you know, I just wasn't sure that I could use in Spanish, you know? So, you know, I think one thing that I set out for myself internally to do was to be able to have almost like a therapy session with a student in Spanish. And I feel like if I did that, then I would be, you know, succeeding. And today I did that. Today I had a session with a student that lasted 45 minutes. And although we didn't get anywhere, I still talked to him for 45 minutes and I explained some very complicated ideas, some very complicated concepts, and you know, some things that I didn't even know until I got older and I feel like the fact that I was successfully able to communicate that um, means that I'm growing linguistically, I'm growing in terms of communication and my ability to serve has been growing therefore. And yeah, because of that, um, I'm really grateful for this placement. I'm really grateful for the practice that has given me with my native tongue and yeah, that's that was loud um that's that's been my day and right now i'm headed to class i'm headed to a three-hour class well y'all i'm headed home 
It is currently 7.30 and I'm exhausted. So we'll see at what time I get there. Okay, it is 8.30 p.m. I just got home and I'm beat. I am absolutely exhausted. So, cheers. Congratulations, everybody. Uh, Lewis tells me you're graduating, so, you know, God bless, you know, or whatever your deity is, or non-belief, you know. But uh, my advice would be, it's a, it's a marathon that you're running. Social work is a field that um, you grow as a person and really look into the trajectory of your life and see where you want to be. And I think looking at life, you know, setting those five-year goals, 10-year goals ahead of time, but it's a job that wears and tears at you. There's beautiful, phenomenal up moments that are success stories, but you have to also plan for the wear and tear. So I don't know if some people there are athletes, that's the way that I look at things. You know, you have to, you have to constantly be taking care of your knees, taking care of your feet and maintaining yourself because uh, you hear a lot and deal with a lot. You're, you're privileged to be in the position of uh, working with people through some of their most traumatic moments painful experiences and you're forced in the field to look at that with them. So you want to main, maintain a, a very uh, secure and stable support system for yourself. Whether you're in therapy, whether you have family, friends, significant others, you want to plan for the trajectory of a hard field that you've signed up for. I don't know how long you want to commit to the field, but you need to have that in place or be working towards that because it is a very challenging field. It is a beautiful field. You will grow. Um, you got to be strong for this field, for everything that you're going to hear, okay? So I wish you nothing but the best. And uh, hey, man, things are expensive. Social work field, you better start planning for how you're going to make sure that your bank account reflects certain things too, okay? So uh, with that said, take care, peace, and congratulations.